My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is jargon used in gym membership sales. Now, let me, I'm on our screen here, let me kind of start at the bottom and, and work our way to the top on this. You know, the first thing you want to remember here when it comes to, you know, this use of jargon, and I'll give you some examples here shortly. You know, the consumer is a number, but your customer, your member, they're a person. And you never want your, your customer to feel like they're a number. You certainly don't want that to be true. And sometimes if we are using the jargon we use internally, you know, with our customer, you know, we're going to create a situation that's not going to be beneficial for either party. Let me give you some examples. And this actually happened to me in a club that I once owned is, you know, we had a very strong lead box program and uh, worked really well. I was near the front desk one day. Uh, a prospect came in and she informed our girl at the front desk that she registered at a local business and she had won like two free weeks. And our girl at the front desk just proudly announced, oh, you're a box. And I did nothing but cringe when I heard that. But as a result, it forced us to make some changes in how we dealt with things. And we actually ended up changing the name of our Libox program to a public relations program. So I thought, well, if we do make the mistake of using the, this kind of jargon in the gym, you know, at least now you're a PR is going to sound a lot nicer than telling somebody that they're a box. Um, I've heard things. I've been in clubs, and, and I hear over the intercom system, uh, Mary, you have a walk-in at the front desk. You know, no one wants to be defined this way. You know, I was sitting in, in the lobby of a club one time that had asked me to come out and we were talking about, you know, doing some training for them and helping them get back on track. And their sales manager, their general manager, uh, he had walked into TO a sale, and I was sitting right outside that room, so I could hear what was walk what was going on. And he walked in and proudly announced, you know, who he was, what his name was, and he simply said, "I'm the closer." So what I want to suggest to you folks listening, you know, take this jargon out of it. Okay, you don't want this used. If you're using it behind the scenes, there's a good chance you're going to use it in front of customers as well. So if you have to, you can change your lead box program to a public relations program like we did. You can look at other options as well. But be mindful of this. It'll make a difference in that relationship with your customer. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.